What's going on guys, Snake Eyes here playing some more Dark Souls 2 and in this video I'm going to show you how to beat the Prowling Mantis. Um, right now I'm actually on the way to fighting him and I'm just clearing out these spiders real quick because there's actually a chest in this room that I wanted to point out so that way you guys don't have to get caught up by it. It's a trap chest that has a bomb in it so I recommend opening, a, opening it up and uh, rolling away because if not it's going to detonate the bomb. And um, this close to the boss room, you really don't want to die. So I thought that was close enough to this boss fight that I should actually point that out. So that way you guys don't get yourselves caught up in it. Um, this fight is a little bit unique in the sense that you're fighting the Prowling Mantis, but you're also fighting his congregation. Uh, just a bunch of people who worship him and all that and whatnot. But there's actually two miracle users that you do need to be careful of because them guys are actually pretty dangerous. If you don't have lightning resistance armor or anything like that, they can take you out pretty fast. And um, those are the only two people that you have to worry about. And in here, I'm just trying to pick the best weapon that uh, would suit this fight. I wanted to go with this Vihander, but I didn't have it upgraded, so I know it wasn't going to do a whole lot. I ended up going with the Black Knight Halberd because um, it's a pretty decent weapon and I really like it. And um, it actually does some pretty good work in this fight. But um, like I said, you definitely have to try to worry and take out the miracle users in this fight because those are the only threat. The Prowling Mantis himself can get staggered, so there's not really too much you have to worry about. And in order to complete this fight, you have to take out everybody in this room. So that's just kind of a little heads up. If you're having trouble with the uh, miracle users, hide behind these seats. The spells will hit the seats before they hit you. Um, roll just in case because you never really know. But um, Right here, as you can see, I'm kind of just sizing up everybody, making sure, seeing what they're doing. Um, you can hear a little chime right before they uh, cast a spell. So kind of use that, listen out for that. When you hear it, know that one's going to come real soon. And um, the Prowling Mantis, or Magus, I keep calling them Mantis for some reason. The Prowling Magus um, isn't really too much of a person that you have to worry about. Uh, group these people up, and that's why I went with the Halberd, because... I don't know if you noticed, but that's actually the same technique that I use to beat the Skeleton Lords. And um, and it works out just fine every single time. It's a good way to do a lot of damage really quick. And um, taking out enemies that don't really have a lot of health. But as you can see right here, I do it on him. I take out a nice chunk of his uh, health. And he staggers every single time. So if you see that he's about to do something, if you feel like you're going to get the hit in, don't stop. Because you're more than likely going to stagger him. Uh, these guys, I never let them get close to me, so I don't really know what they do, but I definitely recommend not letting them get close to you. And uh, sorry I messed up his name. I thought that's what it was, but um, I even wrote it on the file. That's kind of weird. But um, yeah, that's my bad. So that's going to wrap it up for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Leave a like if you did, and subscribe if you haven't already. And until next time, take care.